So follicular unit extraction, or FUE, uh, sometimes also called FUE, uh, FUE uh, is a way of extracting the hairs from the back of the scalp um, one by one. It's very hard to do because you're aiming for the graft itself. You want the graft to be intact and complete. You want to keep it moist and cool. Uh, we have a lot of ways to make that happen. We're very fast in the way we do it, and that's important for graft survival. Uh, we have refrigerators in every room. Uh, we keep the graft cool on a cooling plate. So we take a lot of extra steps to make sure the procedure is done as efficiently as possible, maintaining the quality and maintaining, maintaining the graft survival. We also have other amenities that make it easy for the patient to be able to endure the procedure, uh, not because of the pain, but because of how long it takes. Yeah. Things that we like to highlight to our patients are that when we extract the grafts, they come out clean and complete, intact and healthy. Uh, and then we often show the grafts to the patient. We show the, gra the grafts uh, to the patient themselves. They can look at them. They can watch us count them. We're very transparent about our numbers. Um, you know, some places you never really see your grafts. You're not sure about the number of grafts you got in the procedure. Uh, but with us, we're very, very transparent about the whole thing. If you look up your doctor, often they don't have training in dermatology or plastic surgery. A lot of times when you actually dig into their background, they're family medicine doctors. What we have in our center is, I am a dermatologist, board certified dermatologist. Um, I also have an MD. A lot of times when you dig into this, you find that you're not dealing with an MD. Another thing that uh, I have is a PhD. So it's very, very rare to find a hair restoration doctor that has both an MD and a PhD. I think that uh, it's good to know that uh, there are many ways of doing the hair transplant procedure, especially when it comes to FUE and the follicular unit extraction. Most of what's available are different tools, and I think it's really important for people to realize that the tools are the tools. Uh, a lot of times, anybody can buy the tool, anybody can implement the tool. What you want to know is, am I going somewhere that uses the tool a lot, that's good at the tool? So we have multiple ways we can do this procedure because we do this so much. Uh, so it's good that we have these alternative options.